like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is how to determine whether a system is a linear or a non-linear system. So we have a question and the question is equation between y and x. Okay, so first step we have to do is find for x1 of t as input, alright, for x1 of t as input, what is y1 of t as output. Similarly for x2 of t as input What is y2 of t as output like because there is an equation between y and x there would be Answer over here in terms of x1 of t and here in terms of x2 of t Okay, so the third step we have to do is find y dash of t. So now what is y dash of t? y dash of t is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t now the fourth point for x1 of t plus x2 of t as input what is the output and the output is denoted as y double dash of t now the last step is to check check whether y dash of t is equal to y double dash of t if it's equal then it is linear system If it is not equal, then it is non-linear system. Okay, so let's take a recap. For x1 of t, what is y1 of t? For x2 of t, what is y2 of t? Then you have to add both this y1 of t plus y2 of t to get y dash of t. Now we have y of t dash of t. Now we have to find y double dash of t. So for y double dash of t, the input is x1 of t plus x2 of t. And then we have to check both y dash of t and y double dash of t. If both are equal, then it is a linear system. If both are not equal, then it is a non-linear system. So let's see an example. So our first example is y of t is equal to t times x of t. Okay. So first step is x1 of t as input okay then what is the output y1 of t is t times x1 of t okay fair enough now taking x2 of t as input similar again y2 of t is equal to t times x2 of t this remains same t and only the function x of t changes to x1 of t simple now third step third step is y dash of t y dash of t is what y dash of t is y1 of t plus y2 of t this means adding this two okay now t is common x1 of t plus x2 of t now the fourth step input is x1 of t plus x2 of t okay these are our input so what is now y double dash of t t remains as it is now x of t changes to x1 of t plus x2 of t now you can see this both are they equal let's check yes both are equal so y dash of t is equal to y double dash of t this means system is linear now let's take one more example now the second question is y of t is equal to 10 times x of t plus 5 so what is the first step x1 of t as input so y1 of t is our output and that is equal to 10 times x1 of t plus 5 similarly y2 of t is our output and x2 of t is our input so 10 times x2 of t plus 5 now y dash of t was adding both if we add both we get 10 as common and this two inside the bracket okay but this two gets add again so we get 10 here talking about this the y double dash of t as our output and input is this now changing x of t to x of 1 of t plus x2 of t so again 10 as the multiplying factor and inside the bracket we have x1 of t plus x2 of t 
but now we have only plus 5 so you can see the difference so y double uh, y dash of t is not equal to y double dash of t this means system is non-linear system okay now let's see some of the example that comes under linear system so linear system example So first example is n square x of n that is equal to y of n. Now let's orally solve this. So first we have x1 of t as an input. t was for the continuous time. So if we change t to n then we get discrete time. Alright. So now we have y of y1 of n that is equal to n square x1 of n. Alright. Then we have y2 of n that is equal to n square x2 of n then we add both this uh, so we get y dash of n adding this two will get x1 of n plus x2 of n all right now now just imagine that uh, we are finding y dash of y double dash of n y double dash of n means changing x of n to we change this to x1 of n plus x2 of n all right and changing this will get the same answer so you can see both are equal y dash of t and y double dash of t this means it is a linear system so what this mean this equation gives a very general equation all right so the general equation is that if we have y of let's say t or n i'm taking n here all right the general equation is y of n is equal to t uh, let's say n is the variable so n raised to n again n can be any value one two three four any value and we have x of n if you see this this equation this means it is a linear equation all right this was multiplying n raised to n all right and this small n means any value one two three four anything what if y of let's say t is equal to 10 times cos of let's say 100 pi t and multiply by x of n uh, sorry t is the variable so x of t what will be the answer for this now again you multiply this and you got it is a linear system uh, now you when you change this also like x1 of t and x2 of t what changes is this all right then we this remains same in both all right so 10 cos 100 pi t remains same in both now variable changes so when we add only these two variable adds alright and we get y dash of t fair enough alright let's say one more time x1 of t will be 100 uh, sorry 10 cos 100 pi t x1 of t x2 of t will be 10 cos 100 pi t x2 of t then we add then we get this and we get y dash of t now talking about y double dash of t what will happen only this will change and this will change to x1 of t plus x2 of t so again both are equal y dash of t is equal to y double dash of t this means the system is linear system so this can be also a general equation all right when we multiply anything anything to x of t we get a linear system now the important point here is suppose i add suppose i add let's say anything either n square or let's say 10 cos pi t if i add any constant to them uh, let's take example t q and it is x of t i have this and now i add a plus 10 what will happen what will happen is x1 of t we get a plus 10 here all right and in x2 of t we also get all right this will happen we are solving this t cube x1 of t plus 10 t cube x2 of t plus 10 now when we add both this 10 plus 10 also added and we give and we get 20 and 20 is in y dash of t but when we solve for y double dash of t what will happen only this changes this changes to t cube here x1 of t plus x2 of t and 10 remains add as it is this is not 20 here so 10 as it is so what is the difference the constant changes Alright, when the constant changes, both the equation changes y dash of t, y double dash of t. This means it is a non-linear system. So remember this.
this and this are linear system but when we add a constant you see when we add plus c when we add a plus c it becomes a non linear system now let's see the example of non linear system so first we had is we talked previously that is if we have y uh, y of t and let's say t raised to n x of t and we add a constant this constant changes for y dash of t and y double dash of t what happens is we get constant added right here but here we have only one constant so these two are not equal this means it is a non linear system when we talk about second example the second example is here we added constant in this what about we square this so if we have y of t that is equal to let's say t into x square of t now what will happen let's solve this so first step is finding y dash of t all right for this we need two y1 of t and y2 of t so y1 of t is t times x1 square of t and y2 of t is t times x2 square of t all right now adding this two we get t common but x1 of square this to get added so x1 square of t plus x2 square of t so this is nothing but y dash of t all right now we have y dash of t finding y double dash of t for y double dash of t we need x of t change to x1 of t plus x2 of t so what will happen right here this is important see x1 plus x2 all right let me write this way x1 of t plus x2 of t and it will become the whole square all right now you can see now you can see the difference so this is the whole square why see closely we have x of t the whole square this means this and this are equal x square of t all right now we are replacing x of t to x1 of t plus x2 of t so that's why we get this all right and you can see this and this are not equal so again this equation is very important so this gets added to a non linear system what if i had x of t square and not x square of t then this is linear now why it is linear solve it when you solve it we get x1 of t square uh, x1 of t square then we get x2 of t square then we add then we get x1 of t square plus x2 of t square now when we change this now let's see closely we have this right. we are changing only this x1 of something let's say write this way x1 of something plus x2 of something so this won't change this and this will remain same so y dash of t and y double dash of t remain same but here when we replace x of t we get x1 of t plus x2 of t the whole square you can see the whole square and here the equation of equation is different that's why this is very important example and don't get don't get confused between x square of t and x of t square now let's take the last very important equation and the equation is y of t is equal to e raised to x of t let's solve this first x1 of t as input then we get y1 of t that is equal to e raised to x1 of t all right then we have x2 of t and y2 of t is equal to e raised to x2 of t all right now we have to find y dash of t that is equal to e raised to x1 of t plus e raised to x2 of t fair enough all right now we have to find y double dash of t for that we have input x1 of t plus x2 of t as our input so what is y double dash of t this will be e raised to replacing this it would be x1 of t plus x2 of t now this means e raised to x1 of t into e raised to x2 of t all right and now you can see y dash of t is not equal to y double dash of t this means system is non linear system you can see this तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई YouTube चैनल
तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट